by Comkill serve to Space Station Asgard. My job is to destroy a Scud. I've never had to kill a robot, and I don't know what Asgard is up to, but you can't beat the pay. My case is Scud Heartbreaker Model 1373. Scuds are disposable robot assassins. They're supposed to self-destruct when they kill their first target. This one didn't. Five people before me were hired to kill Scud. Dick's mother's neck was broken. Brother Tom was decapitated. I guess death is hereditary. The other three didn't fare much better. They all found Scud, and they all got killed. Pavlov. Nathan Twist. Even the head of Jane Mansfield. I'm combining the information they gained and loading it into my ultimate weapon. AM minus two. I can send a Master Scud from right here better suited for the job than a human. I'd rather not get my hands dirty with this one. Scud was designed to self-destruct, not to be killed. It's got polysteroid armor, unlimited power supply, and the latest in neural net targeting software. He's also got a will to live, and apparently overrode his own programming. I figure he could have used this beauty to wound his first target so he could stay alive. AM minus two, tell me about Scud's first target. Nobody knows where she came from. She just popped up in the basement of a mannequin factory. She kills everything that moves. The factory closed down. They held a little guy named Herschel responsible for getting rid of the monster. When you want something dead, a gun is as close as the nearest vending machine. But when you want something dead, you're not up to the job. You want more than guns. You want a scud to hold them for you. Everything he needed to know. 
His assignment, get into the factory, pass the security, and take out his target. The disc also set his contempt level at 10, and gave him a visual of the monster. Scud would come to name her, Jeff. so I don't self-destruct? We can do anything for a price. I'm a robot. I got no money. Get a job like the rest of us. I'm not a counselor. Hang on, I gotta call him. 
This is Tony Tasty. I got your message. If you want money, go to the prison and whack this guy, Paula Poo.
how the Pelian fought his way into the courtyard. Like a wild dog, he climbed into an armored truck and started her up. He needed to get back to the city, collect his money and pay Jeff's hospital bills. He drove out of the prison and off a thousand foot cliff. Sometimes the will to live is enough to hold your rain together. In the desert, Scud met up with a gang of terrorists known as Gritites. Scud didn't know that he had just killed their leader. Tony's family is at war with the Voodoo cult. 
Now there's a zombie horde overrunning the city. So Scott will have his hands full with the walking dead. Affirmative, sweet pea.
he does! a job for you. There's a scud that's got his hands full. I want you to go help him out. Now's your chance to try out that new piranha gun.
Monty, I got your message. If you want money, go to the prison and whack this guy. Holla pooey.
from Tony Tasty. He was smart enough to know I was the best. Too stupid to know I worked for Asgard. He wanted to hire me for a job. He said he had a hot new shooter working for him. And the perfect place to sew the goods. And he mentioned some guy named Oswald. Tony's money is as green as Asgard's, so I can work for them both. But I have a feeling I haven't seen the last of Scud. <laughs> 